What's up, everyone? Welcome to my channel once again. Uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at my, at the at my top three. It's still the same uh, top three coins that I'm in, I'm looking at mainly trading as well. Uh, today uh, Bitcoin was an interesting. Let's start with Bitcoin. That's not actually. Uh, that's not where it got to forty five thousand, and we come to the. Right now it's it's at forty three. It came down, uh, but it right now as you can see here it is a resistance at forty five thousand five hundred and eight dollars, which has to break. You know it kind of broke it. It was a little weak that broke broke it, uh, but we need a full body to break that. You know uh, as you can see here this is a resistance where it was potential support before it dropped. I don't want to to drop below 40,000 or get close to 40,000. If anything, uh, around here it will be where I would like it to, to bounce from. If it has to go all the way down 42,000, 41,900, but 42 mainly. That's the one I'm looking at for, for it to potentially start moving up again. Uh, but it's funny, it's 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 crazy how Bitcoin, it, it does drop the market, um, but the the cool thing about it is that when when he when he makes big jumps like like it did yesterday and, and the day before, it 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 also trades sideways for a little bit and then and then allows all your coins to kind of like catch up you know and and start making its move movement up again. So again, Bitcoin so there's a resistance for it. Uh, it needs to break it for us to see. To see it go up to the next level, the next level will be forty eight thousand, and the next one will be to fifty one thousand, fifty two thousand, I believe. Yeah, fifty two thousand. Now let's go back to the to tone. Tone is is my favorite one to trade. Um, as you can see, it has it, it the past week? It's been doing great. Nothing but an an, an uptrend momentum that it that it's been having. And it looks like today it kind of got to the last, no, to the last stretch of that movement that it was having. It got to 27.16, the highest. Uh, and now I made a mistake here because I, I've been holding this this coin for uh, for a bit, and then I bought it a little bit high. I bought it a 26. I was gonna say 26, uh, 30, I believe, around that price, and. I got greedy. I did not sell. I should have sold it because I should have seen this coming. I get the past few days is having nothing but go uptrend. And right now it finally did a little you know fall down, which is what I was expecting to happen. Uh, but I should have sold here to take kept you know, I could have I could have, you know, came out even or maybe have a just a tiny a profit on it. But I didn't. I got greedy. I did that. So uh, it's my mistake. You know, so I'm still working on it. I'm right on us at 23. It looks like it's gonna stay at, at this new low, which is great if it does, because it's gonna like it right here. I don't want it to drop more low 22, 24. Uh, we'll see how it does. Like that MACD looks great on it. it looks an option that we're looking at the 15 minute. Let's see that one hour how it looks. No, no, 15 minute looks great. Okay. Now it changes things here, and the one hour, hour that looks great. It's over oversold, you know. The MACD, it's it's not near close, you know. We need to we need the RSI to start curling up and and cross the other one. Uh, anyways, this one I I'm expecting it to have another run up, like. As you can see, it's making this like a little bit of a U. And that's that's what I'm, I'm wanting for, you know. If we have another run up like this, that would be amazing. I will be really happy. It looks like it, it looks like it is it's setting up itself for that. But again, it also kind of follows Bitcoin as well. And the next, the next two that I'm, I'm also watching is HTR. HTR is another one that I. It's interesting. I, I, I saw when I was right here. It was it was from fifty eight cents, fifty seven cents, twenty one twenty nine, and 
it's structurally balanced from it, so that's great. Now it's at this price point where it's, where it's considering, considering. Um, not sure where it's going to yeah. Like I, 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 I had this circle here, but I, I, drew, I drew this circle here and here because it looks similar. So if it looks similar, I'm expecting if it's gonna follow the same pattern, it's gonna it should come down a bit more, trade sideways for a bit, and, and then make its way up again like a little stir here. So if it played out like that, that's an awesome. I'll be I'll be waiting here, down here as well, or from here to get in. It also has the same um, kind of form the same MACD like right here. So it does, you know. That was not not too not too shabby either. It's kind of the same. It's, it's good to see like the same pattern repeating itself again. Uh, but like I said, this one I'm just I'm just waiting on it. Uh, I'm not gonna get in at the moment. It it could potentially change direction and just come up like that, you know, and not not follow the the previous pattern. But I like to wait, and and I'm confident that it it will most likely it will repeat the same pattern and if it does i'm gonna be waiting down here my my target price would be 70 cents i think that's that's what it the lowest it could it could get i don't think it will go down all the way to 60 cents or anything close to that but it goes to 70 great i will buy in and just just let it ride I go up you know if it comes down that will be even greater for me i will still buy in at that price point lower and just let it ride you know and then the next one is going to be in uh, num this one it this one is a little bit yeah, i already had it on run up uh 58 here it, this was on on january 29th and then and it did not cross the 50, 50 it did not cross 58 so it came down it found a support right here and bounced off it got found support at 41.77 and after that the next couple of days it had a nice jump and it, it made it to 63 cents that's great right now it's in and it's in, and it's, and it's, it's on its way down which is understandable but which is great you know uh, after having this great run up here it needs to cool down a bit and then it start finding its momentum once again I don't think this one will come down to here if it does, it might, it, might, it might create, it will create a double bottom, which double bottoms are really, really good. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure. This one, I'm still waiting on it. This one is another one that I, that I had to wait, same as the HDR that I just, we just saw right now. I'm just waiting because it, it already had it run up. Just wait for the, for the, to find the bottom, the new bottom, it could be Back here again. If it does, that's great. That's a how much is that? That's a forty. That's a almost fifty percent uh, increase there. So not bad. Now and those are the three that I'm looking at at the moment. And 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 see how we we do. But tone right now. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't follow the other one. Like it made it nice momentum and it doesn't fall down if it does and i'll be that i would not be happy i would be mad at myself because i, I could have so and have more money to play with but anyways um uh, we just have to wait to see how the market reacts at this coming weekend this is going to be an interesting weekend because of super bowl so i'm i'm sure that will be interesting to see where it's heading but anyways this was my analysis for today um okay back to give you guys updated with with this trip and oh, we gotta make some some money on this market right now that is momentum right now it's but it really volatile just get it anyways thank you guys have a good day later